I had a high resting heart rate of um, around 120, just constantly. I would lay down and could just feel my heart rate, you know, just beating fast. That was, it would just not go away. There was nothing uh, I could do. There was no explanation from anybody. Uh, and... And you had been to a cardiologist, or was there a general doctor? Just a general doctor. General doctor. Did they have you on any medication for this rapid heart rate problem? Uh, no. And it was no. resting. You lay in bed. It was one twenty. Stand up. It was one twenty. Yeah, I'd stand. I'd, I'd stand up, or you know, walk around, or something. Sometimes it would get Even extremely worse. high. Yes. Um, uh, what, how high would it get when standing up? One time it was like one thirty-five, one forty. Yeah. So there's a condition. Did you ever get diagnosed besides them calling it a tachycardia? Or tachycardia was only thing. They said. So you had that, and how long did you have that? You said two years. You had this. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, about, uh, I would say, maybe halfway through the protocol, a couple months, I tested my heart rate and seventy-five. Seventy-five. I haven't seen it that low in. And years, years, years. Yeah. And it's still 75. 75 is still a little bit high. We're going to help bring it down more. I'd rather right. be 60 would be great. Okay. But 75. But 75 was amazing. Oh, huge. 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 Yes. Huge. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not discounting. I'm yeah. not minimizing. Yes. That is phenomenal. That's amazing. amazing. <laughs> Yet still, I want it even better than 75. Right. Because I'm sure there's going to be a critic out there who's going to mention, say, 75 is still too high. Right? Right, right. But it's not 120, 150. It was 120 setting usually. So, yeah. yes. So yeah. that's phenomenal. Yes. Incredible. Yes. That is also life-saving. That's awesome. Yeah.